Good morning. Hello again. Pietro here. So today we are recording in a Las Vegas hotel, to be specific, the Hilton Grand Vanca Van <laughs> Hilton Grand v Vacations on Paradise Road. And if you wanted to know about the bugs on your app, so it's synchronizing. The synchronization still takes a really long time. The battery life with the new OptiMode or Optimized it's okay, but let me show you the true bug as soon as this is done synchronizing. So I started a timer just before I started this video, and we're going on one minute, oh, 32 seconds. No, nope, now it's resyncing again. So in the morning when I first do that initial synchronization, it takes a good two minutes for the ring to synchronize. Right now it is charging again. I had it charged yesterday. So I think if I'd let it go all the way down to zero and didn't synchronize several times an hour, I could probably get the battery to last a good two days, maybe. See, it's still synchronizing. Now we're going on two minutes. And then this is the first problem. It synchronizes, but then the data is null until I go to energy analysis circle. Okay, there, there we go. 450 steps. That's not right. I should have over a thousand. And now, yeah, so it synchronized, but it didn't. There, there's no information on the main screen, as you can see. So we're going on almost three minutes. I'm not seeing any data. I wore the ring last night. It says that it's charging. Data mode, firmware, I'm up to date. And then if I go back to settings, app version, I believe I am running the most current one. Yep, 3.9.0, that was from March 30th. All right, yes, I don't need to do that. Now on the, f on the last day, so on March 30th, now it's April 2nd, the app was not loading correctly on leaderboard. So let's check leaderboard. Leaderboard is, okay. I'm on ninth place, that's fine. So it looks like the cardio points are tracking correctly, but still nothing on the there, there's no sleep data, but then there is because if I think if I check Kira, yep, two minutes ago, you had core sleep from midnight to 6:26 a.m. Total duration six hours and 20 minutes. All right, sleep score 85 percent. Two minutes ago, good morning. Here are your daily scores. You can take a look at them in their respective circles: 85, 100, energy score 91, global score 88 percent. All right. But if I go to sleep analysis, is it loading? Not enough data. Okay, so now it loads. So it shows disturbances, my sleep score, my sleep debt. Now if I go to yesterday, is it loading today's data or yesterday? Okay, that time it worked and it shows both naps. What I would like to see is um, a little feedback on the naps to where it shows, hey, this hour nap or this half hour nap took your sleep score from an 85 to an 87. Uh, some other companies do that. But the alarm clock's still working, but my circles are not updating and my main screen is not updating. So that's problematic to say the least. So let's go to alarm clock score, continue, continue. That looks right. I'm actually going to take all these off, but I'll change my wake up alarm to 9 a.m. I like to sleep in on vacations. Save. There we go. And now it finally updated. That took almost four minutes <laughs> for the main screen to update, but all right, you know. That's neither here nor there. This is, it's almost three full months. I put this ring on my finger, this, this, this one right there. I love the charging though. I do like the little charging USB. The charging prongs, I don't know about because they often leave an imprint on my right index finger. No rashes or anything like that, but 
I don't know if my little camera shows that or not. But I love the circles. The steps are way off. So I'm going to compare this to the Aura Ring 2.0, which I also always wear on my right hand, pretty much, and this one. But this is the Aura 3.0. I think that's unfair. So this is synchronizing. And we'll do this in real time. So we're at 13 seconds in for Aura. So does the Aura Ring 2.0, does it take longer or is it, okay, a lot faster. So it fully synchronized in about 24 seconds and I haven't synchronized it for almost 24 hours. View and text, oh, okay, so it wants me to do all these activities, which th this is something I, I would like to see on uh, Circular Ring one day, the ability to edit the exercises that Kira uh, finds. I think that would be really cool. Confirm, and then weekly report. Well, we'll go to that later. So redness score of 85, sleep score 80, where Circular gave me a sleep score of 85. In general, I think the Circular sleep, sleep scores are just a wee bit generous. Okay. Total sleep, six hours, and we have my body clock. The midpoint of your sleep was aligned with your chronotype. Okay. Then we can tab back to circular, synchronize this again. If I go to energy analysis, are my steps right there? No. Zero cardio points. And there's your bug. See right there? There's, it's showing the same data from April 2nd to April 1st. So if we go back to March 31st, it's showing the same data from today. But if I scroll all the way down and go to cardio points, it does show different data. So it's mainly just in the display. And again, I'm in mountain time zone, although right now I'm in Las Vegas. So Las Vegas, Nevada, that is. So a little different time zone. But the energy score is different from day to day. That's updating correctly, or is it? Now it's not. So there's March 29th. So if we go back to March 11th, when I had my race, let's see what data it has. Because there should be over 20,000 steps. It's missing my, yeah, it's, it's not loading. It's not pulling down the right information. I think this is where cached information would really help if we could cache the data locally instead of trying to repull. Okay, so it loaded the cardio points correctly, 134, because I did race and walk, but the step count is way off, way off. That's too bad. But everything else looks to be right. So mainly it appears to be step data and some other information. So now we'll go to sleep analysis and check that circle. So it says 85 today, there's only sleep duration. If I just click back, so all I'm doing is clicking the arrows right there. That seems to be correct. Yeah, I try to take naps every day. Hmm. So there you go. There's the video that you wanted me to make for y'all. Uh, I'm excited to see the next revisions that you have. And I do like the new Opti mode. That's really cool. So it automatically switches from eco mode to performance mode during my night sleep. Whereas eco mode, it's checking every four minutes, which that's really all you need during the day. Performance mode at night, where it's really just grabbing data consistently every two minutes. And then of course, optimize, which is the best of both worlds, which I keep in that, but it's even easier to switch it right here from the main screen. You can just quick data mode, eco, performance or optimize. I love I love that button. That's nice. So I'm going to let my ring charge to probably 70%. I would also like to see the battery percent here, even if it wasn't exact. If it was within, you know, 5 or 10%, that would be awesome if you could show that. But uh, yeah, cuz a lot of my other devices when I charge them, 
I can see the exact percent while charging, where this one, what I have to do is I have to put down my phone, I have to take the ring off, and now you can see that it's at 55%, and then I put it back on, and now it's charging again. So at 55%, it would easily last all day. And uh, just another suggestion, if you could change the light color from white to red, if it's below 20%, so that'd be cool. So as soon as you put the ring on the charger, it would show a red light indicator because the charging light would be, well, the ring battery life would be really low. Also, could you make it so the ring would buzz when it gets to 20%, letting you know, you know, low battery indication. And then when the ring gets to 100%, if the light could change to green, that would be awesome. So just three colors, white while charging, red when the battery life is really low, and green when it hits 100%. And then uh, if you can, just one more, make the app buzz so then I know that the ring is fully charged. Even better, maybe even allow the ring to stop charging at 80%. Would that help the battery health? Who knows? Well, thank you so much for watching. Pithy comments, type those down below, and I'll have more about the circular ring, and also I'm writing up a, a detailed report of circular versus the ore ring. And that's, that's all for now. I'll see you again with another video, probably sometime next week. Goodbye. And yes, I am the man with two watches and four rings. <laughs>